busy growing your business and as a result you have more clients or customers more revenue and more projects to show for it which is great but because you've been so busy your systems and operations are kind of all over the place <laughs> Hey guys, Christy here, CEO and founder of DeSilva Life. I'm a vetted ClickUp consultant and HoneyBook Pro, and DeSilva Life is a systems consulting agency where we help you set up one or both of these tools. So in today's video, we're gonna run through my five favorite ClickUp templates to help you grow your business. It's time to see what ClickUp can do for you. Let's dive in. There are so many great things that ClickUp can do, but one of my favorites is actually helping you create the processes your business desperately needs. So I can't wait to just show you some visual examples of these five templates for business growth. We are going to start by walking through the workflow mapping template. So what's the purpose of this template? It's to think of the moments where you're like, okay, what happens when a new client onboards? How do you deliver their work? How do you assigned to your team or follow up with stakeholders. All of that can be done when you have things properly mapped out in your ClickUp workflows. So let's take a look through what this actually looks like, right? You're thinking of if you have a project for a client, say you are a marketing agency and you have a timeline and project for any time you have a web design project an email campaign, an ads campaign, whatever it may be. Um, maybe you're a graphic designer, maybe you build systems like me. So this is actually what our process looks like very similarly, where it's grouped by phases and we have different phases for our projects. You could see this is grouped by project prep, let me go ahead and make my face a little smaller. Whatever phase two, three, et cetera, whatever the phases are, maybe it's wireframes, brainstorming, et cetera revisions and then offboarding and support. You'll be able to see everyone who's assigned to each task, the start and due date, the status. So if it's to do in progress, review needs edits approved, complete, um, the time estimate priority. So you're seeing your whole entire workflow and project at a glance. Then you can separate the client view and you can share this with a public link. So you can share this with your client or whoever needs to see insight into the project and you can hide what you don't want to see. So you could see this just shows due date and status. Maybe you don't want to see assignee, priority comments, etc. So you can just share that specific filtered out view. You can also have forms like onboarding forms, gathering information about this project, Gantt view to see how the dependencies are all mapped out and how if you move one task forward, it's moving all of the other ones forward. View thing in a things in a calendar view to be able to see what is coming down the pipeline. You can have docs in here as well timeline, workload, you name it. So the workflow mapping template is really so you can see your whole entire project at a glance. Once you create this as a template for your specific project type, you could have timelines, templated assignees, then it's just a matter of plug and play. Next time you have that same process, everything is crystal clear. Moving on to our next template we want to feature is our KPI and OKR tracker. So to know if your business is growing in the right direction, you need to keep an eye on your KPIs and OKRs, which are key performance indicators and objectives and key results. So basically they are fancy terms for the word goals and targets. So our KPI and OKR tracker eliminates the need for different documents, spreadsheets to track and compare data. Instead, it's all easy and in one place. Okay, so let's dive in to the KPI tracker. 
So here you have, you could see how we've broken this down. Let me go ahead and minimize my face again by the different type of goal, right? Is it traffic leads, conversion, fulfillment? You could see the different departments. And again, of course, these are just templates. You can absolutely make them your own and you can have team members that own these specific goals. So you could see the date that they tracked this, what the goal was, what the actual, the outcome is going to be the goal minus the actual. And then you can see if this is on track, at risk, behind, postponed, or complete, add any notes in here as well. Then you could break this down by, you know, is it who's KPI is this, and you could see each individual person's KPIs, and then also break it down by department as well. So you could see this is just a really great visual way to keep all this data in ClickUp and have your team take ownership of tracking their KPIs, and then you can get this really great overview of where everyone's at. So this is our KPI tracker. We also go through using the goals section in ClickUp to uh, record goals or OKRs. This is ClickUp's native way of tracking OKRs and it's really cool because you're able to actually add like specific targets. So you can see down here like number, true, false, currency, tasks, and then it's going to track the entire thing. Um, so you'll see if I go to 100, that's the current, it's then going to pop confetti, we achieved it. So in our KPI and OKR template, I actually go through an in-depth tutorial on how to set these up, but I wanted to show you visually how you can track your goals in here and your KPIs, your OKRs, so you can make sure that you're actually having data to fall back on when you are evaluating your business. Who doesn't love watching sales come in? Revenue is one of the biggest signs of business health and you're in luck. ClickUp makes it so easy to keep tabs on this too. So template number three, I am so excited to bring you guys through this one. This is honestly one of my favorite templates that we sell, but also that we use at DeSilva Life. I created this for our own purposes two or three years ago. And the main thought was, I was like, I want to have my numbers at a glance whenever I want, but I do not want the manual data entry of having to bring in all this information. So what I did was I created Zapier integrations for every single payment processor that we have. So right now we have HoneyBook. We no longer use Kajabi. This is just the template. We use Thrivecart and Stripe and PayPal. So this will track what payment processors these are coming through, the offers that they are, what the gross and net payments are, the date it was created, aka the date that it was purchased or paid, and then the month as well. So you'll see if you go into the individual months, let's try to find one that actually has date, I believe February, you'll be able to see the each category and payment processor, how much was in each category, and have all this data at your fingertips. Now, wait a second, my favorite part is the dashboard. So let me bring you there. Okay, so here, now unfortunately right now, ClickUp does not offer dashboard templates, but every single template that we provide, if there's potential for a dashboard, we give you the step-by-step -step tutorial to build it from scratch. So although we can't give you template links yet, we do make sure you know exactly how to set these up with your template. So my favorite part about the sales template is that you could have an amazing dashboard to show you what sales have come in this month, this year, and all-time revenue. You can add any other things and calculations that you want there as well. I also always have a widget that goes through this month's sales so I could see like the line items. And then we have sales by platform, by month, by offer. We also have yearly data as well. Um, so it goes through and bar charts by category too. So you could see in this current year, okay, how many sales have we made in each individual month for HoneyBook setups, ClickUp setups, system school courses, digital products, etc. And you can really trend track super granularly with this. So again, 
one of my favorite templates. Don't tell the others, but it's so, so helpful to be able to make informed decisions about your business, what targets you need to hit and what you can afford when you have all the data here at your fingertips. Next up, staying on the topic of finances, this is another template we created that was inspired by me reading a book and saying, I really want to implement this in our business, but let's build it in ClickUp to make it as easy as possible. So if you have ever heard of the system Profit First, it is amazing. I highly recommend any business owner reads this book. It's a really simple concept, but it makes a ton of sense. And in the book, the author, Mike Michalowicz, goes through stories of all these businesses that have gone through the profit first method and really made their businesses more profitable. So long story short, the goal is for profit first is that you, anytime you get money into your business, you have different bank accounts that you automatically separate everything into. We don't have this automated because we can't through our banking. Um, but every single I do, every single time I do these allocations, I never, ever, ever touch my income account and pay anything out of there. I'm always taking these percentages and bring them into the different buckets like profit, owners pay, taxes, OPEX, because what it does is instead of looking at your bank account and saying, cool, I have $10,000, $20,000, $5,000, whatever it is, great, I can go on a shopping spree. You say, okay, I actually pay myself 50%, 30%. So I really have $3,000, not $10,000, etc. It's simple, but it really, really works. And it revolutionized our business finances. So just showing you how this works. Um, we grouped these by quarter. We have these grouped by the month. Then we'll put whatever the day is during that month. We'll then put the exact amount of what is in our income account, so it was 8,765. Then it's going to have these formulas here that we chose for our allocation percentages. We also have a whole YouTube tutorial on this profit first template. And this will then show us exactly how much we need to bring into each of those accounts. Once we do that, then we will mark this as completed. So then at the end of each month, you can also see how much was in your income account, what all of the percentages were that you brought into each of the accounts, and it just makes this process super easy, kind of fun too. Um, so that's something I always say is systems don't have to be hard. You want to create a system that is unique to you and it feels easy. So that is profit first. Let's move on to our final template. And last but certainly not least, if you are actively growing a team or planning to grow a team or just managing your team, the team management bundle is the one you need to check out. This has multiple different resources. We have our hiring template, onboarding template, SOP library, team KPI tracker, payroll form, and out of office calendar. So just showing you through these really quickly, you get a lot of bang for your buck. This also includes the KPI tracker, which I already went through. But for example, do you need to hire for more positions? You can build out the entire application, job description, and process in one single pipeline. You could see bringing people through the application process and making note of where they're at in their application process with you and your team. Then we have, okay, once you hire them, let's onboard them. Going through the onboarding process and making sure that um, they have everything that they need to get started with your business and their role. Then we have the SOP library. What about team trainings? Making sure that everything is in one place so everyone always knows where to access information if they're doing a new process. Keeping the SOPs and trainings organized is key. Then we have the KPI tracker. We already went through this. And this, we also have a payroll form where team members can submit their timesheet. You can also have awesome formulas that 
put in their specific role and their rate as well. Um, rate, not role. And then lastly, out of office calendar. So if people need to request time off and then the team needs to know um, who has been approved, etc. Now all these have different automations and everything in them. And when you actually purchase these templates, it goes through step by step every single thing in here, how to customize it, use it, etc. But you could see this whole bundle will really help you not only hire, but also onboard and manage your growing team for your growing business. So I hope that video was helpful for you to not only see how these can help you aid your business growth, but also when you are growing your business, stay organized so you can, you know, eliminate some of those growing pains and stay organized and scale in a better way. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below and let us know if you have any of these templates and which one is your favorite. And uh, all of these templates are currently available in our template shop at desilvalife.com slash shop. But if you want all of these templates, including 40 plus of them, feel free to check out our ClickUp template vault. I will link it in the description below if you want to check it out. It is really awesome. Not only do you get plug and play templates, but also mine and my team's support within our exclusive community. So make sure to check that out. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.